Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion again! Where uh, it's a day following where we last left off. Because it rained all of yesterday. Something I'm sure Jazir probably wasn't very happy about. Um, it's it's turd ass morning now. Um, we're up relatively early by Jazir's standards because he went to bed relatively early as well. I was about to say, the place is almost completely deserted, the market district, but it's starting to fill up now. There's people starting to appear and do stuff. Apparently the rest of the Imperial City is uh, pretty relaxed in terms of when they decide to start work, huh? Anyway, um... Hello. Got the gold livery on today and the deerskin boots as well to go with it. This guy is a grumpy, horrible man, but just here you know, kind of likes his shirt. Anyway, um, Jazeera would like a bright yellow and gold shirt. It would be very nice, very distinguished. Anyway, today's plan is to just sort of wander about the Imperial City, see the sights, hit the arena later, waste some more of our money, although we're still hanging around on a roughly 970 gold at the minute. I, I can't quite seem to get rid of it, unfortunately. Jazir keeps getting annoyingly lucky at the uh, arena. <laughs> stolen, Kashar's Curus. The above item was recently stolen by a group of bandits. They were last seen in the West Weald. Lost, Divine Shield of Lightning. The above valuable lost artifact is rumoured to be located in a deserted dungeon in the Great Forest. A reward is given to anyone returning this item. Divine Shield of Lightning. Wanted dead or alive, the despicable Lilisfina Shady Shade. I feel like we've seen this, 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 uh... We've seen this notice before, the name rings a bell. Update, this criminal was recently seen in Nornal Varlassel. If you want to learn about heavy armour, Varnado is the one to talk to. Office of Imperial Commerce. Talk. The Someone best of defense. We've been in most of these already, haven't we? We got some info about the Nern route, did we not? Seeking your roots. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we've been told to go chat with Sundarian and Skingrad at some point. I forgot the world map doesn't work, does it, when you're in the Imperial City with uh, better cities? Deep Scorn Hollow. Oh, it's DLC crap. Lots of DLC crap. Ignore all of this. Uh, Ingrid's book. Oh yes, the librarian. Down in a hole. I talked to Thelonious. He wants me to find and explore a goblin lair near where he was ambushed. Ah, yes, yes, the merchant outside the city itself, in way. He wants me to see if I can find his friend I Elahai or the remains of his trade goods, or both, yes. That's up in the mountains somewhere in the east, right? Interesting. So we have like we have a task that wants us to go to the east towards Shaden Hall, and we have a task that wants us to go west towards Anvil, which is the uh, Cinderian in Skiengrad. Since Shaden Hall and uh, Anvil are our two next sort of destinations, really. Technically, we could also join the Fighters Guild and Coral, but they won't have any jobs for us. So. Raid on Groland. Oh, yeah, that was the Skuma dealer thing. Institute Darcy's Mine, yes, and Farragill. Farragill is... Damn it, if I could only get the map up. Farragill is down there somewhere. Off in that direction, south of Skingrad, roughly. That's another reason to go towards Skingrad, I suppose. Divine Elegance. Got any new stock in, I wonder? Yes? Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? You have anything new? You have a small backpack. That could be good. Sadly, cost a little too much for us. Curses. Oh well. Apparently there's a mod you can get on the Nexus which makes the backpacks less ridiculously huge. Um, which I might might have to see about getting actually at some point. Good day. Might be a good idea. I know some people have... Ooh, purple shirt. I know some people have uh, said in the comments, though, oh, actually, Dave. Uh, good old, uh, good old, the good old the good old return of actually Dave. 
one of our oldest traditions on this channel. Uh, <laughs> uh, a lot of people have pointed out in the comments that um, like rucksacks in real life are really, really big. You know, like big, proper, super awesome rucksacks. And I'm like, yeah, but like the ones in the game look dumb. That's the point here. It's not that they're too big. It's that they look dumb. It's you. Hi. Hello. How are you? What do you want? I guess we've had breakfast, but what about second breakfast, around. right? You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Boar meat. I can't cook it right now, though, can I? A cheese wheel. Maybe not. Well, you got scarecrow. Ward stout. Port raspberry beer. Canteen with some beer. Cheap wine. Coffee. I guess we'll have a cup of coffee. Come back and see me again. Why not? Hello. Oh, did I say we were thirsty? Slightly hungry. I don't have a lot in the way of food on me except for the bass meat, which I was hoping to cook. What? Let's do business. Right, I'll have a bread loaf. An excellent deal. I... Farewell. That'll sort me out. These people walking on the bloody tables. Madness. All right, that's probably fine. You know what? Actually, go babe, ahead. Can I interest you in some of my? Let's bash wings? that old hunger timer down a little bit, shall we? Let's just really stuff Thank our faces. You. Have some brunch. Farewell. Get the bloody "you are hungry" notification to go away for a decent amount of time. Hopefully, let's see. Where's my carrot at? <laughs> sure, I bought a carrot. There it is. Some corn. There we go. You are stuffed. Excellent. That's what I wanted to see. Tiding, citizen. Hello. Out of my way, please. Pallets and... Oh, it's just another door in. Okay. Tempered steel. That's a new one. Ooh. A fine steel longsword would not be a bad idea. What do you want? Uh, Let me take a to look repair? At... No, we don't. Have a look around. You won't find better <laughs> prices in all Tamriel. A badly forged longsword. Okay. Ebony dagger, ebony longsword. Oh, they got the expensive stuff here, which we won't be able to use even if we bought it. Unfortunately. Fine steel glaive. Fine steel longsword, though. A distinguished sword for a distinguished gentleman. Perhaps. Silver longsword? No. It'll damage too easily. Fine steel longsword, yes. Let's have one. Another satisfied customer. Very nice. Damage six. Not bad. The Dagger of Embers is obviously still pretty darn good. Because of the magic damage, but... Uh, yeah, quite nice. Quite nice indeed. What are our skills like in terms of... Uh, blade and Blunt, you know. Blade's actually slightly better than Blunt. Interesting. Okay. Yep. Progress to next level is still slowly... Slowly, slowly proceeding. I know it's a little bit mad that we're still level one, but the thing you have to remember is that um, uh, that's normal with with these mods for this game. Um, level one take uh, you, it takes you ages and ages and ages to get to level two, and then once you've got to level two, the levels speed up after that. Um, and also, while this is like episode I don't know ten or eleven, which means we've probably been roughly playing for about ten, about ten hours so far. I've not been playing in the typical way you would typically play, have I? Uh, a lot of it. An awful lot of it has been walking around towns, going into shops and things. Um, the amount of time we've actually been out there practicing our skills has been pretty minimal so far. So I know it's a little bit mad and silly that we're still level one, but um, it's, it, it makes sense if you really sit and think about it. Um, and besides, it's not as if it's impacting the level of fun I'm having. So, What can I do for you? Can I interest you in some of my wares? I've just realized there's no music, is there? I think I muted the music, and I forgot to turn it back on again. 
I have to, you see, I have to mute the music every time I do the little, you know, the little, the little, the little title card intro bit for every video where it's just sort of like some particular scene in the location where we, we left off last time. Uh, and then, and then the title of the episode comes up on the screen. In order to film those bits, I have to turn the in-game music all the way down so it doesn't overlap with the intro music I add in, in post. Um, and yet today I forgot to turn the music back on after I'd done it. <laughs> so, Elven Warhammer. I've never seen one of those before. What else you got? Silver Mace, Silver Warhammer. Silver Warhammer, though. Be kind of nice. Steel bearded battle axe. What do we got at the minute? We've got the silver battle axe and a warhammer of frost. Probably, I don't really need the silver battle axe, do I? If, we, if we're really honest about it. I saw this by damage. If any Warhammer, 18 damage. Whoa. Whoa. Silver Warhammer does 11. Fine Steel Warhammer does 10. Elven Badish. I kind of fancy the idea of a Steel Bearded Battle Axe, actually. It's just... The silver battle axe we have right now is 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 a technically a bit better than that, although it's it's probably heavier. I want to say yes, it's definitely heavier, and it will damage a lot more easily. You know what? Yeah, here you go. You can have that in exchange. Uh, be, please be careful. It is still in fact poisoned, uh, and we'll have the steel bearded battle axe instead. A pleasure to serve you. There we go. So that looks like that. That's a meaty old weapon, isn't it? It's a nice good bit of Nordic steel right there. Straight bought straight from a Nord. Yeah, like you can chop your way through a door with that, that's for sure. Nice, so we got the Warhammer of Frost. If I need, you know, a magic weapon. In addition to the Dagger of Embers, which is also magic. Then we got the fine steel longsword and the steel bearded battle axe. In truth, it's probably still overkill. I can probably get rid of the Warhammer of Frost. In fact, I think I'm going to, just because of the weight. Yes? What can I interest you in? There we go. Come. Sure, it does an extra five points of cold damage, but it also weighs like 20 pounds more. I was just looking at my inventory there. It was like 259 out of 275, which is a bit like... Ugh. Especially since I don't have a backpack yet. Plated plate. Huh? Oh, well, let me put the music back on. There we go. Got a dagger full tunes in the background. You got anything good? You better be better than the best defense, mate. What? I said you better. Never mind. Have a look around. You won't find Danger better prices gauntlets, is it? My right, goodness me. Orkish Ebony Dwemer. Uh nothing of interest. Farewell. It's all heavy armor in it. Syrian's grocery shop. Not right now. Juno's guest house. Presumably it's another place to stay. Although I think we're quite satisfied with the merchants in, really. Everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. Have a copy of the Black Horse Courier. It's the only way to get the real news. Feature story on the Grey Fox. Ugh. Not interested. Bookshop, huh? Behind the Mask of Time. In memory of Volanaro, evoker. Grizzly Visions, a skooma addict's tale. Ooh. Juicy. 
Declaration of Rights in the Empire? Ugh. Boring! The mechanics of magic are also boring! That trick. Do not know what this is. Oh, nice rug! Traveler's Guide to Nibbane. Ah, uh, Jazir will figure it out by himself. Regarding dragons in Nerd 2nd Edition. They do not exist, and I hallucinated one. That is all that needs to be said. Some sermons of the Daedric Priests. Eh. Welcome to Oriel's books. I am Oriel. Please let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? A traveler's guide to... To what? To the... To the what? Useless. An Abyssinian heartache part. Do not know. Behind the Mask of Time. Biography of Baron Zaya. Brief history of the Empire. Commentaries on the something. Grizzly visions, a schooma addict's tale. Oh, looks really boring. Old Skull Song. Uh, Jazir is probably not going to come again soon because he is not really a, Everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse Not Curry. really a book person <sighs> Not even going to bother going in there The main ingredient Under market tunnel oh. How are you? Prosecutor's office. Office of the Magistrate. Both places Jazir would like to be staying clear of, if at all possible. Hello. Hello. It's you. Hi. What is it now? Rose's flight, Stonewall Shields, Bank of Cyrodiil. The Rose's flight. This this place is like constantly freaking closed every time I come down here. What? What can I interest you in? Absolutely nothing, that's what. Good day. After all that. All that mystery and suspense. Because every time I try to go in there, it's How locked. You? It's you. Let's go have a look around the rest of the city. Maybe the maybe the temple district and, and whatnot. Yeah, I've had a little look around the Elven Gardens, I think. I don't know if I went up there. You should check out the gilded carafe. It's a nice do, 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 do. Ooh, very nice gardens. Greetings in the land of the Altman. It seems the Somerset Isle. The thirsty Guar. Oh, Jazil is technically not thirsty, but he will go in anyway. Why are these bars always on the top floor? Must be against building regulations or something. What? Never mind, I was not saying anything important. Uh, you have a lot of booze, don't you? Good grief. I'm through talking to you. Hmm. The feeling is mutual. It's not even owned by a dark elf. I feel a little disappointed. Henry Absol's house. This will lead to some apartments, won't it? Yeah. No, just a house. Pilpin salves. What is it now? Yes? Can I interest you in some of my wares? What's this guy got? Mixing bowl. That's interesting. It's actually listed as an apparatus. I guess maybe it's just a really, really low quality modern pestle, right? Like it, it weighs less and it's cheaper. In fact, yeah, the 
quality stat or whatever that is uh, is 8 instead of 10. That's interesting. Ink. Hmm. Weird. <laughs> the heck kind of ink is that? Invisible ink, apparently. Wow, you have a lot of mugwort seeds, man. A lot of them. They are useful, though. They restore health. Goodbye. Oh my goodness, you can actually see over the wall. You don't. That doesn't happen very often. You can see over the wall and the mountains in the background. Looks so awesome! So used to the Imperial City just being this totally enclosed world space. You can't see the landscape outside, but that that's just very picturesque. I stand by what I said earlier. Cyrodiil definitely looks like Switzerland. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's cool. You're never normally this high up, are you, I suppose, in the Imperial City? In the vanilla game, at least, you know. Oh god, oh, I was just saving. My quick saves seem to be a bit faster these days. Uh, since I got the new computer, which is a nice, nice little change. It's almost in instantaneous now. There's no uh, annoying, you know. <laughs> Wait, is it gonna crash? Is it gonna crash? Is it gonna crash? No. Okay, so uh, that's nice. I don't know if it'll stay that way, but. No. Oh, hello. I don't know what that. What, what's happened to fix it? Oh god. Okay, that looks a bit weird, but all right. Um, I don't know what happened to to fix it, but uh, it seems to be sorted, which is nice. The hunter's feast. Hmm. It's very well lit, isn't it? In a sort of sickly piss How yellow colour. Not very encouraging. Hello. What do you want? Only quality goods for sale here. Oh. What can I interest you in? Good brandy. Rubbish selection of food. You too. What is it? I don't know if I can help you, but I'll try. We've been playing a lot of uh, Cyberpunk 2077 lately. It's apropos of seemingly nothing, but you'll see. Um, been playing a lot of it lately, actually, um, because I got the since I got the new PC, I'm able to run it on like absolute maximum settings, and and it is just oh my god, that game is such a work of art on max settings. It is so incredibly immersive and gorgeous. But um, how can I help you? It's kind of, it's kind of, it just, I was sitting here look, looking at this, this, this city they've turned, the, the, the mod has turned be, the Imperial City into, that's much bigger and it's got lots more people wandering around and doing stuff and things. And, uh, it just kind of reminded me of how far we've come since the days of, of like, Oblivion to Cyberpunk in terms of, like, the, the, the kind of things you can do with a game engine. Like, the actual scale of it. Citizen. Oh, hello. Who are you? Citizen. Good day. You're... Oh, you're an adventurer. Peregrina Ostu... Something, something. Sorry. No, she's not interested in joining us. So she's got a small backpack, I think, which to me looks, you know, reasonable. It doesn't look completely silly. I mean, it doesn't have any straps on it, which is a little bit weird. It's just sort of glued to your back magnetically, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Did he just say, speak, Imperial dog? <laughs> Good grief. God, you gotta love the uh, the NPC conversations in this game. <laughs> I will say, though, actually, though, thinking back to Cyberpunk, like, like you know, the, the the NPC conversations in this game are really dumb, but at least they are they exist, right? 
feel awesome. I do like walking around in the town in this game and just hearing the general hubbub of people talking. That's something you don't have in Cyberpunk, I've noticed. Unless it's like scripted conversations you occasionally, you know, overhear every now and again. Nobody talks in Cyberpunk. You know, this, it's, it's the, the, you know, the city's plenty noisy anyway, so you don't really notice it initially. But after a while, you start sort of like, everyone just sort of stands around, loiters or walks around. And even if they're standing around, sitting there in groups, they're never talking. They're never saying anything. Which is interesting to me, because I guess it, there must have been some sort of conscious decision there somewhere where they were just like, are we going to actually make the NPCs talk or are we not going to do that? Because, like, on the one hand, it's weird that they don't talk. On the other hand, if we made them talk, it might end up like oblivion. Have you ever spoken to Del And it might be so laughable it actually breaks your immersion. Your, your uh, immersion. Immersion. Where did that word come from? Ink and text. Again, not really our thing. <laughs> I'm just enjoying exploring all of these upstairs bits. I don't think so. Urbans. Don't know what that is. Funny looking fellow, aren't you? I have no greeting in block capitals. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Alright, uh That was a bit weird. Good afternoon. No, you are different people. Okay, good. Oh, hello. Yes? You're the guy I'm this so place is named after, you. yes? This is another food place. It's you. Hi. Now that is a selection. It out the <laughs> Look at that! Huge lump of meat. What? The service here is terrible, though. Talk. God, it's like, 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 they finally got a customer and they couldn't be more annoyed about it. Look at that though, look at that view right there. If we just if we just if we crop out the slightly jaggedy mountain in the background there. What? What a cool view of the city that is totally not in the vanilla game at all. Impossible in the vanilla 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 game. I really I've said it before, I know plenty of times, but just this slightly added vertical element they've they've added here to the uh to the city is really cool. It really transforms the little world space here quite tr quite dramatically. And, uh, you know, they, they did it in pre made previous attempts at it in earlier versions of the mod, as some of you may remember from the previous playthroughs I've done on this channel of Oblivion, but uh, I think they really nailed it with this one. It looks a whole lot better than it used to. They've, they, you know, they've really got the, the walkways and everything looking a lot more natural and like they should be there as opposed to where they were before, which was a bit weird. The spiral staircases and whatnot. It looks a little, it all looks a little bit more architecturally sound now, if you know what I mean. Oh, a bit more own music in the background, nice. Could still have turned it up a bit, I suppose, couldn't I? There we go. You have my ears. Government archives, Imperial services. You see, this is stuff that was really missing from Oblivion, if you ask me. Because Morrowind was junk full of this stuff. Like random, like like like, you know, government archives or, you know. The, the, the library of Vivek or the justice offices and, you know, just sort of administrative buildings that didn't really serve much purpose other than, other than you'd maybe occasionally go there for a quest. Um, but they just existed and they were there, there in the world because it made sense for them to be there. Whereas you uh, you, you explore Cyrodiil in the vanilla game, you go to the Imperial City, which is supposed to be the, cent the, the, the municipal centre of an entire continent-wide empire. And it just doesn't feel like it. You even go to the Imperial Palace itself, and it's completely friggin' empty. Everybody needs a copy of like, where are all the bureaucrats? Where are all the people that keep this entire empire running? They're just nowhere to be found. Look at this, you've got the Office of the Imperial Cult, you've got the Compound of the Order of the Hours. I'm sure there's an Admiralty building around here somewhere. I remember that being a thing. This is the Temple of the One, which again is another bit, a bit of another disappointment, unfortunately. 
I don't think the mods changed it much. They can't really, otherwise they'd muck up the main quest, I suppose. Yeah, it's just a big... I mean, it's, it's impressive in its own way, you know, it's based on that... Uh, that place in Rome in real life that I can't remember the name of off the top of my head right now. I'm sure about a dozen people will be blurting it out in the comments momentarily, but... Um, still, a bit bare, isn't it? There's not even a thing you can pray to. Yes. And you just apparently you feel shoes are just greatly overrated. Do like that we could see out the windows though. That's nice. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? I understand Daedra worship is becoming. Touch words, you know, but and this is this is going to be this is I've just I'm about to curse everything now by saying this, but. Since I got the new PC, I haven't had Oblivion crash on me either. Which is interesting. I'm sure it will eventually. It is Oblivion after all, but still. It's been a bit more stable since the new... Since, uh... Moving to the new computer, which is good. Which surprises me, frankly, because it's Windows 11, and Windows 11... You know is far from perfect, but uh, actually it's, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The only game it really messed up was Gothic. Um, Windows 11 completely screwed up Gothic for me. Oh, hello. I've killed but everything else has been largely okay with. How do we get upstairs? That's what I'm trying to find out at the minute. I'm wandering around here like, where, where, where are the, where's the staircase? I saw an upstairs bit. Oh, here we go. Perhaps this is the way. hospital. Ooh. Not that we're feeling particularly ill right now, but this is just worth checking out. Whoa. Okay, then. <laughs> Bloody hell. Whoa. Um, interesting filing system you've got here, guys. What do you want? Be seeing you. Again, this is another thing that feels like it should have existed in the original game. Well, a man. hospital of some sort. Have you bet on any arena Afternoon. matches lately? What is it? Sure. I mean, you, you know, you, what you, is it? you have to wonder how necessary a hospital is in a universe in which cure disease potions and health potions exist. But... I just don't think about it. The Greetings Elder Council you. will take care of you. You're an alchemist. The it's just stuff that feels like it should make sense, you know. No, like a proper, like, modern-style hospital is perhaps a little anachronistic, but... Oh, we're out here now. It's perhaps a little anachronistic, and there's nothing no wrong with that, really, you know? Like, I, I used to be one of those people who got really annoyed about anything anachronistic appearing in my fantasy. I was like, no, this is not... This is not historically accurate in my fantasy setting that's supposed to be a medieval fantasy setting and yet you've got all the stuff in here that was not would never it never existed in the middle ages but um i don't know my opinions kind of changed over the years because i kind of grew to realize that you know sometimes a slavish obedience to realism can really limit the sort of stories you want to tell not that it's a bad idea to do your research, and I really, I do really enjoy some fantasy settings that do take the realism quite seriously. Um, but it really, it can seriously limit like what you want to actually do with a story. I mean, the best example of that I can probably think of is Discworld, which is a, one of the most anachronistic fantasy settings that's ever existed, and it's on purpose, and it's for a very good reason. And some of those, you know, those books are like the best fantasy novels I've ever read in spite of the fact that they have fantasy email in in that universe, you know? <laughs> There's the pa We've not been to the palace yet. Have we been to the palace yet with Jazir? This is the problem with recording an episode several weeks after you've done the last one. Um, although, I'm recording this one like a couple of days after the last one, but the one before that, I mean. I can't quite remember what we actually did. I'm going to go to the palace. I don't think we've gone to the palace yet. Also, the day's just flown by, hasn't it? My god, it's already 6pm. The Old Dirk. Yet another pub. Uh, I, saw, I thought I saw a shop over there. Yeah. How do we get over there? I guess we have to get down from here somehow, don't we? And the 
hospital has a lot of entrances, doesn't it? I mean, it is a hospital, so it's going to be large. Forevermore. Is this a place we could stay? It's locked. I guess not. The lodge. This one isn't signposted, but it is trespassing. Interesting. I want to get up there. I want to see what that shop's about. Uh oh. Oh, I told you I'd cursed it. Ha 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 ha. Oh dear. All right. One second, folks. God bless this auto safe mod and all who sail in her. That's all I have to say. Because otherwise, we would have lost a lot of progress, I think. I say progress. We haven't really achieved much. But you know what I mean. We were just making our way across here when it crashed. I, you know what? I probably should have. Whoa, that's some hair. Uh, I probably should have checked the little um, script extender log to see if there was anything pertinent, any any pertinent info in there on on what happened. But uh, couldn't be bothered. <laughs> Would have been overwritten now. So never mind. Adric bread. What? It's not, not open. I guess neither is the other shop I came up here to see either. Bit of a shame, but never mind. Friar's Finery. Oh, it's a bloody tailor's shop as well. That's oh, God, I'm so annoyed. Greetings. Well, we'll have to make a mental note next time we're back in the in the nest neck of the woods to uh, check out Friar's finery. See if she's got any extra nice clothes. I take it you want something. Well, what is it? Not sure about his clothes. Some, they just don't look quite right somehow. How do you do? Does this lead to the waterfront tunnel? does, doesn't it? Which means we can citizen? take this via citizen, the citizen. undermarket tunnel back to the Merchant's Inn. Ah, it's you. Hi. Tells tall tales. Hey, I haven't met you before. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you haven't heard, have you? I have the best story. Do you want to hear it? Your voice acting is a bit loud, but uh, okay. Not really, apparently. The other day, I was down by the waterfront, right? I was strolling along the beach, and then a mermaid appeared. A mermaid? Yes, a mermaid. She was beautiful, too. She told me about a lovely pearl at the bottom of Lake Rumere, and that I should come with her to find it. Aha. Uh -huh. And then, when we got down there, we found this massive clam. But it was guarded by this huge trow. When it saw me, it started throwing spells at me, one after another. Sure it did. But then suddenly, the mermaid turned into the divine Kinnereth. Once she was transformed, she... Hey, wait, where are you going? I haven't finished my story. <laughs> Goodbye. Greetings to you. It's you. Hi. Hi. Old horse courier? Eh, not interested. Have you ever spoken to Dulbro Shug about wearing light armor? He can the Emporium of Waterfront Traders, and it is open! Hello! He hello? Fight well. What can I do for you? Be seen. You're open, but you're not open, I see. Under market tunnel. <sighs> Which uh, is different now in the newest version of the mod. Although I don't know if this is actually the newest version of the mod. I think another new version of Better Cities might have come out since I uh, installed this. Uh, in which case, I guess it's not the newest version, but whatever. I can 
still not animated. It's a shame. Um, I, can, I can I can live with it though. See, the nice thing about better cities is that every time I come back to do another Oblivion playthrough on the channel, it's generally been updated and overhauled quite a bit. So it means there's always something new to check out every now and again with Oblivion. So I'm not actually going to update it, I don't think. As long as it works, it doesn't crash that much. It's you. Hi. I'm kind of okay with it, really. We'll check out the next version another time. Another playthrough, undoubtedly. Interesting, they make gravestones there. So yeah, the, uh, the waterfront tunnel is more like tunnels plural now. Undermarket tunnel, sorry, not... Oh, it does animate at the right times. Interesting. Why is it open now at 9pm? That's weird. Or not. Oh god! No! <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Hold on. Oh dear, that was okay. I'm very amused. What was that about? Uh... Ah, people actually live down here now. Of course, probably not a very nice place to live, is it? But uh, How can I help you? people do live here. Hello there. This place is open, apparently. What? The... Oh, they're just like a basement. I was wondering if there was like if it looked particularly different somehow. Bye. Like those. Uh, do you remember in 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 Morrowind when you went to Nisus and there were the troglodytic dwellings, the little cave houses in the cliffside? I was kind of wondering if it was going to be something like that. I like his jacket. I'm listening. They are just Alanis Medici. Greetings, my name is Alanis Medici, and I am a priest on a pilgrimage to the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. Have you seen it yet? It truly is remarkable. If you say so, it doesn't look that remarkable to me. But okay. Have you come alone? To the Imperial City? No, a fellow priest has come with me. Her name is Claire, and I'm sure she's around here somewhere. I see. Under market tunnel. What yes. is it, citizen? Hello. That's not a fountain I can actually use. And we're back in the market district. Marvelous. Marvelous. Oh, I didn't get to go to the arena today. Spent all of it exploring the town, which took longer than I thought it would. Apparently. Well, we'll head in here. Interesting. Go on. You really could do with some more candles, a nice dude. Place at the Mystic Emporium. Yes. What can I do for you? I do have a bed. Yes. Very Jazir good. hands over the 20 gold. Probably looks into his coin purse at this point and is like, Ooh, Jazir has only 500 gold left. This is not good. Thank you. <laughs> but we hungry, Take yeah, time. hungry, thirsty, and tired of us. Go ahead. Get some dinner. I offer the finest goods and lowest price. An extra cheese, for a song. A lettuce. A Farewell. <laughs> Not the damage health poison. There we go. And to drink, we've got canteens full of mead. Slightly thirsty. Ah, that's all the canteens empty now, and we are. <laughs> Everything's all nice and wobbly. 
Excellent. Right, well, she's would probably, you know, sit around and talk to the other patrons and do drunk stuff. But uh, just to just to pretend that we did that. And uh, he's going to head to bed. Let's rest for like 10 hours. Three, two, one. Fully rested. Lovely. Apparently we're not thirsty or hungry still. I mean, to be fair, neither am I when I wake up first thing, usually, actually. I'm not a big breakfast guy, I have to admit. I tend to skip it most days, just go straight to lunch later on. Um. What? May I interest you in some of my fine wares? We really need to fill up our uh, canteen somewhere. I'm not sure where we need where we should do that. I guess we need to find a, a fountain or so, or a well. That's what we need, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if there's a, where there's a well in the in this city that's not poisoned, though. You bought that for a song. I let that go. A bar. Get some breakfast anyway. Farewell. I'll keep the stomach from rumbling for a while, I think. Let's see. So today, I think I want to hit the arena one more time. See if see if Jazir can win back some money, I think, is what he's thinking. Oh, this this place is good. Okay, well, it makes sense. It's right next to an inn, so their, their, their well's actually been taken care of. Uh, do, have we now filled up our... Yes, we have six canteens full of water now. Excellent. I have no empty, empty canteens. Well, I, I otherwise I would fill them with that as well. But all right, good. That's that taken care of. Then we're not gonna. Good to know that's there. Actually, I can get a free drink anytime I like now. Uh, cool. Yeah, we're gonna go to the arena. Try and win back some of um the money we've spent. How are you? You have my. Just his plan anyway. Oh, and uh, let's pretend that we got changed in the inn. <laughs> uh, we didn't get a chance to really wear the green, did we? Because it was raining the entire day, so let's switch back to the green. There we go. What is it now? I believe we're owed some winnings, actually. You won. There we go. Congratulations. Here are your winnings, my friend. Two hundred gold pieces. Come back and bet on the matches as often as you like. That's exactly what Jasir intends to do. Ah, Blue team. 100 gold. Let's go. Might as well. Got 200 more gold than I thought they had. Good citizens of the Empire. There's still an elven shield down there on the floor. It's the blue team versus the yellow team. In a battle to the death, lower the gates. Here we go. Oh my goodness me, the yellow team is unarmed. Oh no, they're not. They're, they're, she's got a sword. It just looked like she wasn't equipped with anything for a minute there. She's kind of kicking Blue's ass right now, isn't she? That sneaky move where she got behind him and everything. And blues under the dagger. Ugh. Silly looking for a hat. But he does have a steel shield. And there goes 100 gold. Oh dear. Ah, sorry. Ah. Well, this one will simply have to try and win it back. Yellow. Oh. Right, yellow's got a big axe. We're off to a good start. Can we get a look at uh, came to watch a fight blue a fight from here? You shall have. No. It's the blue team versus the yellow team in a battle to the death. Lower the gate. Big axe and a helmet. A proper helmet. There's another big axe and a distinctly improper helmet. This looks like the same dude, actually, just with a different weapon. 
Same dude as last fight, I mean. My friends, we have oh dear. Behold, <laughs> well. From the blue ah, sorry, friend. Uh, well, Jazir ah. just has to win it back again. Yellow team again. All, all right. And it will be fine. Welcome, welcome to the arena. Good citizens. What have we got this time? A shield? An iron helmet, looks like. Not sure about the weapon. You came to watch a fight, and a fight you shall have. It's the blue team. Man, that last fight Versus barely lasted as long as the intro, didn't it? The gates. Oh dear, I think that's a dagger. Oh, they've both got daggers. Interesting. Is it this guy? It look, always looks like the same dude. It's the same ridiculous for a helmet. Just keeps changing the weapon and shield up. Damn it all. <laughs> okay, Jazir, Jazir, Jazir knows a winner when he sees one. Ah, sorry. Ah. 100 gold on the man in the silly hat. All, all right, my friend. Welcome, welcome to the arena, good citizens of the Empire. You came to watch a fight, and a fight you shall have. It's the blue team versus the yellow team in a battle to the death. Lower the gates. I wonder if Elder Scrolls 6 will have a cool arena. Oh, they have changed the fighter. This is, this is. Where is Silly Hat Man? He has gone. This is totally rigged. Although, this guy's doing alright for himself so far. My friends, hey! We have a yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Give Jazir his gold! You won! Excellent. Ah! Blue team are clearly the winners today. More oh. on the blue team. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say the. I, I wonder if they'll have an welcome, arena questline in the, um, the Elder Scrolls Six. That'd be nice. Because apparently they were gonna put a. Uh, there were gonna be multiple arenas in all the different cities in this game. But um, and they had it all allegedly. Bethesda had it all done and figured out and everything, but they couldn't put it in the final game because the extra dialogue, you know, sound files and whatnot. What is it? Do you mind? The, all the extra stuff basically wouldn't fit on the um, on the DVD for the Xbox, so they couldn't put it in the game. Just, too, just, just took up too much space and cut down. Go away, fool! Oh my God! An NPC actually reacted to being insulted. That doesn't happen very often. Ah, oh, sorry. Ah. No, Jazir is not giving up yet. More on the blue team. All, all right, my f Welcome, welcome to the arena. Good anyway, um, yeah, it'd be nice if they had another crack at that in Elder Scrolls 6, basically. You Some arena combat stuff. Because, of course, the Elder Scrolls originally started as an arena combat game. That's what it was going to be. That's why the first one is called The Elder Scrolls Chapter 1, The Arena. Uh, because that's what the game originally was designed as. It was going to be a gladiatorial combat RPG. And then it eventually grew into being this big open world thing. But um, it'd be nice to see them kind of return to that original concept a bit. Hey, there we go. Pretty short work ahead, isn't it? I mean, it'd be nice to see them return to that original concept in a awesome ah. modern game. All you know, where they can do it justice. All Something approaching justice, anyway. I don't even know who we bet on that time. It might have been the yellow team, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, yes. You shall have. How much money do we have right now? 400 gold. It's the blue team versus the yellow team in a battle to the death. 
Oh boy, I hope we didn't bet on blue. <laughs> this chap in the Elven Helmet really fancies his chances there, didn't he? You won! We did win, oh good. Back up to 600 gold. What's the time? 12pm. One more. Ah, another. Yellow again. Oh. Oh. Time, the tide seems to have turned in favour of yellow, and man, the weather is really changeable around here, isn't it? You came to watch a fight, and a fight you shall have. It's the blue team. Well, at least, at least yellow, yellow seems to be armed with a shield. From what I can tell from here. Lower the gates. Uh, oh dear, I think it's only a fur shield though, and a dagger. Oh god, here we go. She's wailing away on him, though. Oh, she dodged out of the way there. Nice. I don't think the dagger's going to do enough damage. She's definitely more aggressive of the two, though. Oh, uh, I don't think so. No, no. Sorry, friend, but it would appear the opponent you bet on lost that last fight. Oh, well. <laughs> he doesn't look happy, does he? <laughs> right. That's that for now, and then I think. There's one thing Jazir hasn't done yet. Actually, there's a couple of things he hasn't done. He hasn't been to the Diplomatic District. Not that I think he really cares, honestly. He hasn't been to the Arboretum. Uh, he hasn't been to the Arcane University, but he doesn't really care about that either. Um, but he's not been to the waterfront, and as we've established previously, due to his background, he has a call it an academic interest in the waterfront. Is that is that who I think it is? No, it's not. Okay. I thought it was Joel Ring, the Butler of Legend. Is the I assume the Arboretum is just a OTT as it used to be? Yep. It is. They turned it into the the Imperial City's own little central park, didn't they? In this mod, which I've always been kind of okay with, although it's really not a lot of people's cup of tea, this. I mean, to be honest, the, the Arboretum in the, in the vanilla game is so dull, though. It's just a bunch of flower beds. So, uh, you know where buildings would normally be it's, it's really rubbish this this feels a lot more like a place you would actually come to you know have a walk and have a relax in the afternoon if you ask me feels a lot more like actual gardens perhaps they could have done a, a gravel path or maybe even a paved one rather than just these slabs uh, to make it feel a little bit more more official or something, but uh, uh, I kind of like it. Again, not everyone's cup of tea, though. Also, lots of rabbits about the place. Just here is having to resist the urge to start, start chasing after them. A wise decision. It's a foggy day, apparently, but let's go check out the waterfront. What's this about? And drop a quick save, shall we? Oh, I'm so delighted that the saves are actually running nice and fast now. Such an improvement, because that was really annoying having to deal with that. Those massive delays every time I hit the save button. I'm so glad that's fixed. Knows a lot about heavy armor. They say that when you know murder someone, the Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. It's how they recruit. What is it, citizen? City Isle. Oh, I was worried there for a second, but now we're in the loading screen. We're good. Hello. Oh. Yeah, all right. Even with the 3080 Ti, the uh, the waterfront district 
from better cities is still making the frames chug a little bit. <laughs> well, maybe in another 10 years, I'll finally have a PC that can run this at 60 FPS. <laughs> oh, it's so over the top and absurd. Get your black horse courier here. I'd rather not, honestly, mate. Well, they've got the way ships here. They've got, got a galleon thingy, and then there's that. What do they have over here? Oh, a ship from Skyrim? Big elven boat. Big elven ship from the Somerset Isle. Full of hoity tighty elves. Ah, uh, how quaint. How do you do? Thank you for proving my point. Can you use this too? Yeah, you can. Get up here. Oh, I can't go inside. Doesn't look like a barrel to me, but whatever. Hi. You're a bit more cheerful. Hello. Salutations to you. My name is Silver Gutes de Lune, and I am an ultimate crusader from the Isle of Arteum on a mission here to your lovely country. It is not Gisir's lovely country, but uh, he will forgive you the expression. Uh, what, what kind of mission? We are here under the direction of the Sigic Order to explore the ancient alien ruins found here in the province of Cyrodiil. They believe uh, there may be powerful artifacts hidden deep below the earth that may advance our collective knowledge of the ancient race. We believe this further knowledge may benefit the lives of many, not only in the region of Somerset, but of that of, but of that of all Tamriel. Well, good luck to you. Thank you greatly, and good luck to you also in your future endeavors. Ah, well, you have a much sunnier disposition than your friend down there did. I didn't expect them to have any dialogue. That's kind of nice. There we go. It seems Somerset Isle has become a much more dangerous place. See you. Take care. <laughs> he just didn't care, did he? It's become a much more dangerous place, my homeland. See ya. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm on the clock. Oh my goodness me. Hello. Good afternoon. You meet all sorts in the city. Hello. Skasher Basher, I remember you from the Arthur Let's Play. We spent a lot of time Don't around here in that Let's Play, today. didn't we? This was Arthur's neighborhood, this was. Jazir, on the other hand, you know. He likes the finer things in life. He likes to stay with, with in, in the city, in the nice inns, with the hoi polloi. Oh god. Oh god. Have we got another crash? Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. There we go. I told you I'd curse it. I really... I, 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 I said it, and uh, lo and behold, Nothing's two crashes in one episode as a result. Never mind. Anyway... You have my ears. Um, I, 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 there's nothing to be alarmed about from a stability standpoint, anyway. I think, folks, because ultimately, um, I, I knew this was it would happen with the Imperial City because it, it happened a lot in my testing. Um, it the, the basic the basically the problem is that Oblivion is not a 64-bit application. Uh, that's what it boils down to with most of its instability. It's a, it's not a 64-bit application, and in addition to that. Oh, hi. All right, one moment then. Um, but in addition to that, it does a really, really bad job of unloading assets that it's loaded in. Um, so what happens is, you know, like the buffer or whatever gets filled up, uh, filled up with all the stuff that it's loaded in, and then it, it crashes when it, it runs out of memory, essentially. It's, it's an issue I used to run into all the time, Oddly enough, with F Microsoft Flight Simulator X back in the day, because that was another 32-bit application, and when you modded it to buggery, which most people did, 
um you would you would get you would get constant out of memory errors and you'd have to sort of like uh, drop auto saves then load them back in again and and continue along with your flight you were doing in the flight simulator in order to actually finish it because otherwise you, you just had to live with these 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 crashes to desktop constantly because it would run out of memory and oblivion basically has the same problem it uh, loads all this stuff in and then it doesn't load it out again properly um and it's exacerbated in the Imperial City because Better City's Imperial City just adds so much extra junk um, that the game doesn't unload properly. And this the waterfront here is particularly bad just because of how much stuff is here. And it's in an external cell as well. It's not, you know, in an internal city cell. So, um, yes, I ran across this quite a lot in my testing. I think Skingrad was, was another bad one too. I get quite a few crashes around Skingrad. Um, but as you saw, Leowin wasn't nearly as bad for example so um it, it seems to be very location dependent in terms of like how much crap is being loaded in and then causing the game to crash um that's really all it is uh i went into the i went into the message logger uh obviously script as well just to check there wasn't anything weird in there and there wasn't nothing nothing unusual in 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 the log it's literally just oblivion crashing because it's run out of memory and we have to live with it unfortunately what do you mean unusual? No, you must be mistaken. Goodbye. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, the bloody float, huh? Hmm. Is it a bar? Well, it is getting late in the afternoon. Okay. But that will be next time, folks, when Jazir decides to head into the bloated float for a drink because we've run out of time today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. In spite of the crashes to desktop, which will be delightful to have to edit my way around uh, afterwards in Adobe Premiere. But anyway, um, I'll join you next time, folks, where we'll, we'll head inside the bloated float. And, uh, yeah. Hope you tune in for that. Hope you had fun, everybody. And I'll catch you in the next one, hopefully with a little bit more stability. But you never know. It is oblivion, after all. Pity on an old war veteran. Thanks very much, folks. Don't know why I hit escape there. Whatever. Anyway, cheers, my dears. Catch you in the next one. Toodaloo.